a vat with 500 gallons of beer contains 4% alcohol by volume. Beer with 6% alcohol is pumped into the vat at a rate of 5 gallons per minute. And the mixture is pumped out at the same rate. What is the percentage of alcohol after an hour? Okay, this is your classic mixture problem. We have to set up the differential equation. Sometimes this might be the hardest part. We have to get an understanding of what this question is really asking. So we need a formula, a function, y. And y will be a function of time. y is going to be the amount of alcohol in the tank. The unit is going to be gallons. And I'll be able to plug in any time t and have it spit out the y. Time will be in minutes. OK, great. Now let's look at dy dt. It's the change in the amount of alcohol in the vat with respect to time. Its units will be gallons of alcohol per minute. Right? Y is in gallons of alcohol and T is in minutes. So we'll be able to measure dy dt by doing the following. We have alcohol coming in and we have alcohol going out the change in alcohol over time will be the difference there. The rate at which is coming in minus the rate at which is going out. But within each of these, we have to set up the following product. How fast it's being poured times the concentration of alcohol. And the key to this problem is that it, the, how fast it's being poured out and in is exactly the same. They're both uh, five gallons of beer every minute. So we can fill that in. The harder part to get our hands on is the concentration. So let's look at that on the next slide. So what exactly is the concentration? Well, the, What's the units for concentration? Well, in the end, we're supposed to end up with gallons of alcohol divided by minutes. So think of it as like a chemistry cancel the units kind of a question where we need to get the units to be gallons of alcohol per minute so concentration will be gallons of alcohol divided by gallons of beer. You see it's going to be plugged in in place of this set of parentheses here and so the gallons of beer must cancel out and then I'll have the right unit gallons of alcohol per minute. And so let's look at on our way in what's happening. We have five gallons of beer coming in. And we were told in the problem that it was 6% alcohol. So what is 6% of five gallons? Multiply 0 0.06 times five, you end up with 0.3 gallons of alcohol. That's what's coming in for every five gallons of beer that are coming in. So then the concentration coming in will be 0 .0, I'm sorry, 0 0.3 divided by five. That's our, that's our units, gallons of alcohol divided by gallons of beer. How about the concentration going out? Well, in the tank, how much alcohol is there, that's going to be represented by the function y. In the tank, how many gallons are there? It's 500 gallons of beer. So we divide these gallons of alcohol by gallons of beer and that'll be the concentration. The good thing about this problem is that the 500 gallons is constant. We are gaining five gallons of beer. We're losing five gallons of beer. We'll always have 500 gallons of beer in the tank. If I change this, then I'm actually I'm able to do the problem. I'm not able to do the problem as a separable. I have to do it as a linear. So we divide y over 500, and that gives us the concentration of alcohol going out. 
gallons of alcohol divided by gallons of beer. And so we'll take these guys and we'll plug them in and we'll continue to set up this differential equation on the next slide. So now our job is just to cancel units and, and simplify. We have it coming in at a rate of pour of, of five gallons per, of beer per minute. The concentration is 0.3 gallons of alcohol for every five gallons of beer. So those cancel out. And then on the way out, Y gallons of alcohol inside the tank, and that's for every 500 gallons of beer inside the tank. So the gallons of beer are going to cancel out. And then we'll have this, um, the fives cancel each other out. And then this five can turn this 500 into 100. And we'll have exactly what we need in a nice format. We'll have dy dt is 0 0.3 alcohol per minute, gallons of alcohol per minute, minus y over 100 gallons of alcohol per minute. Great. What we're going to do is combine this to one fraction. Uh, if we're trying to do this by separable, we need uh, we need to represent this where we could write it as a function of y only times a function of t only. And so we need to do some simplifying here. 0.3 is 3 over 10. Common denominator would be 100, so we times by 10, both numerator and denominator, and we get 30 minus y over 100. That's what dy dt is. Great, this is our differential equation that we are charged to solve. Let's go a little further because there's a condition here. It's a hidden, it's, a, it's, su it's subtle. Um, they told us at the beginning, in the tank was 4% alcohol. So what we need to get from that is how many gallons of alcohol were there. It's, it's an initial condition. So remember now, there's 500 gallons in the tank. And 4% of that is alcohol. You multiply. And you get 20. So when T is 0, Y should be 20. Y of 0 equals 20 is our condition. We'll just take these two, the equation and the condition, and now we can solve. Consider this halfway through the problem. We, we've set up the different equation. And now, we're just going to take it from here. We have the setup. Now we'll just separate, integrate, and finish it out. Let's start that on the next slide. So what's the first step? I mean, well, I guess it's step two. We need to separate the variables. Go to your equation and put any y and dy on the left-hand side, any kind of t and dt on the right-hand side. So this 30 minus y needs to be moved over to the left hand side this DT needs to be moved over to the right hand side so we multiply and divide we multiply by DT we divide by 30 minus Y that'll put things in their right place we'll have DY over 30 minus Y equal to 1 over 100 DT and we separate it very good now we need to integrate both sides. Integrate the left, we integrate the right. On the left, let's write it as 1 over 30 minus y. It looks like a log, but we have to be very careful with this negative side. Let's do a u substitution. If we let u be equal to 30 minus y, it looks like we'll have 1 over u, but be careful, du is the negative of dy. Or negative du is dy. So when we go to set it up, yes, we have 1 over u du, but it's a negative du. And therefore, that takes every place is the dy. And therefore, we have negative the natural log of u, technically in absolute values. Going back in, we have negative the natural log of 30 minus y in absolute value. That's equal to t over 100. These guys are both improper. Um, both, um, indefinite integrals and so we add a C to both but we combine them on the right hand side with a plus C okay we just need the condition 
to get, help us get to C, and we'll be almost done. So y of 0 is equal to 20 tells us that we're going to go plug this condition in that when x is 0, y is 20. We found that out. Um, not x, I'm sorry, t. When t is 0, y is 20. So we plug it in. 0 plus c on the right hand side and negative the natural log of 10. That's what c is. Negative the natural log of 10. Immediately replace your c in your equation and this is going to be one form of your solution. We've got to make sure that we answer the question that's being asked. So let's take a look on the next slide and figure out what the question is and how we can actually answer it. We're told to solve the problem which is stated as what is the percentage of alcohol after an hour? An hour is 60 minutes. So when t is 60, they want us to find y. That well, we'll plug in the 60. And we'll algebraically manipulate to solve for y. Okay, canceling the zeros. This is 6 tenths or 0 0.6. It's really best to move this negative first, not by moving it up as the exponent, but just multiplying everything through by a negative 1 and therefore we're ready to do the next step which is to make each side the exponent on e and so um, there won't be any complications then we can make e to the left be equal to e to the right these guys would cancel left hand side will be 30 minus y with the right hand side what we have is a sum up in the exponent we have an e to the a plus b which we can split to be e to the a times e to the b. And e to the natural log of 10 is just a 10. We can take that 10 and move it down as the coefficient on this e term. OK, great. Well, what are we going to do? We're going to shift the y over to the right hand side, shift this 10 e to the negative 0 0.6 on the left hand side and we'll have y. That's how many gallons are in the tank after an hour, after 60 minutes. This is, the, this is how many gallons of alcohol there are. Now they don't ask us for how many gallons of alcohol. They, they say what's the percentage of alcohol more practical question. Big picture, you started with alcohol that was 4% by volume. You poured in some more potent alcohol, uh, more potent beer. The beer that you poured in was 6% alcohol by volume. And so you should be raising your, your alcohol level of your beer by pouring in this more potent beer. And so the question is then what's your percentage of alcohol after an hour? Has it gone up from four and, and what will it be? So we have that many gallons of alcohol in the tank. Remember, percentage of alcohol is the gallons of alcohol divided by the gallons of beer. We know there's 500 gallons of beer and then this represents the gallons of alcohol. So we divide them. That's the exact answer. We'll go to a calculator, of course, to get a, a, um, a re, you know, an answer that we can you know, understand. It, it needs to be more than four for things to work out. By the physics of the problem, we have 4% alcohol in the beginning. We pour the 6% alcohol. It turns out when you divide these, what you get is 0 0.049 or 4.9%. We raised the potency of the beer that was in the vat because we poured more potent beer in and after an hour we're almost up to 5% alcohol for our beer that's in the vat and that solves the problem very good now I'm thirsty